now once we know that the different properties of package.json file in this lecture we're going to talk about the package versions in the package.json file you might have seen the package versions operators it's quite difficult to understand what is the meaning of this and which other version specifier can you use these symbols specifies which updates your package accept from that dependency using same word or you can say using semantic versioning as you know all versions have three digits the first being the major release the second is the minor release and the third is the patch release so here in this package one is the major release four is the minor release and zero is the patch release note set some rules for package versioning so let's talk about some rules of package versions so let's talk about them let's start with its engine section here we use the greater than operator with equal to sign and then specify the package version the meaning of this rule is you accept all version equal to or higher than the one you specified so it means it accept all the versions of 6.0.0 or higher than that the opposite of this rule is less than the less than operator accept any version equal to or lower the one you specify so it means this package is going to accept the version you specify or the lower version than this just out that we have just a less than operator this accept any version lower than when you specify so this package is only going to accept the version less than 6.0.0 and if you specify here greater than is going to accept the version greater than 6.0.0 just out that we have this azure operator you can notice here to this uuid to this webpack to this low dash and to this cow says we have this azure operator or you can say a caret operator so it means this cow say library is going to accept the version 1.5 or 1.5.1 the meaning of this caret operator is to update patch and the minor release not the major one just out that we have tilde operator if you write tilde operator before your package name it means you only want to update this batch release so here in this cowse library you want to update it to 1.4.2 this will not update the major or the minor release it will update only the patch release so using these symbols you specify which updates your package accept from the dependency if there is no symbol as the prefix to the version node will accept that specific version so this statement will only accept this specific version i know the symbols are quite confusing but with practice it will easy to understand next we'll talk about how to uninstall the packages from the dev dependencies sometimes you need to uninstall the package from the node application because it's not in you sometimes you install package accidentally or if the package is not in use you can uninstall them from the node modules folder or you can say from the node application so let's take a look at how to uninstall module from the node modules folder so i'm going to first open my terminal and here i'm going to install bootstrap module so to install modules as you know i'm going to start with npm install and then i'm going to specify bootstrap now this is a simple way to install bootstrap now what if you want to install a specific version for example if you want to install a specific version of bootstrap you can specify here at the red sign and the versions so here i'm going to specify 4.5 5.1 so as you know this is the major release this is the minor and this is the patch now i want to install this bootstrap package in this node module folder so i'm going to press enter now what i want i want to uninstall this bootstrap because i decided to make my website only using standard css i don't want to use any bootstrap code inside my website so in that case i can uninstall this bootstrap from my node modules folder if i open my package.json file you can notice the bootstrap is now installed in the dependency section i want to uninstall this package from this node module folder i'm going to open my terminal and here to uninstall this package i'm going to say npm uninstall and then specify the package name so here as you know i want to uninstall this bootstrap so i'm going to say here bootstrap when i press enter this will uninstall this bootstrap package from this node modules folder if you want you can specify version as well but i'm going to leave this as it is and press enter so this command is going to uninstall the bootstrap package from your node application now what if your package is in the dev dependency section here you can notice i have this uuid 
in the dev dependency section. I want to remove this package from this dev dependency as well as from this node module folder. To do that, I'm going to just simply say here npm uninstall and then here I'm going to specify the flag which I used to install this package. You can simply say here hyphen hyphen save dev and then specify the package name uuid. Now what if you want to use a simple flag instead of this save dev. Instead of this save dev, I'm going to just simply say here hyphen d. Now this hyphen d is going to remove this package from this dev dependency section and then I'm going to specify uuid. So this hyphen d flag is going to remove this package from this dev dependency section and if you want to remove this low dash from this dependency you can simply specify here hyphen s make sure the character is capital you need to specify here capital d and capital s now i want to uninstall this low dash so here i'm going to say hyphen s low dash so now this low dash package is going to uninstall from my node modules folder as well as npm will remove this low dash package entry from this package.json file. So when I press enter, this will remove this package from this dev dependency section. You can notice here. And if you want to remove the UUID from this dev dependency, you can simply say here npm uninstall hyphen d and then specify the package name UUID. When you press enter, the UUID package will uninstall from this dev dependency section. Now you're not limited to only use this hyphen D and hyphen S flag with uninstalling package. You can use it to install packages as well. For example, if you want to install SAS package, you can simply see here npm install hyphen S to install this package as dependency. And here I'm going to say SAS. When I press enter, this package is going to install in the dependency section. And if you want to install a package in this dev dependency section, you can simply use here npm install hyphen d and then specify the package name so here i'm going to say low dash when i press enter this package is going to install in this dev dependency section you can notice here now suppose you want to uninstall a package from global location you can use hyphen g flag and here what i'm going to do is i want to uninstall this low dash package from my global location so here i'm going to say npm uninstall then specify hyphen g and then i'm going to say a package name so here i'm going to say low dash when i press enter this will uninstall this package from the global section so this is how you can easily work with npm in node next we're going to talk about event loop